Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to upgrade a PostgreSQL server on CentOS 7. Uh, so currently in the system repository we have a version 9.2. So let me show you sudo yum list postgresql dash server will show us version 9.2 so it's better to install uh, the latest version uh, which is 9.6 and to do this let's just go to google and search postgresql 9.6 centos 7 repo and this is the first link i will click on this to find a repository package that we need so this is 11 10 and we just need 9 so the latest for 9 is 9.6 and this is the link for centos 7 so just uh, copy this link address and then go back to terminal and just simply install it by typing uh, sudo yum install and then paste your link press enter and then confirm now let's just update our cache by typing this command sudo yum make cache press enter and now we can search for our uh, new version of PostgreSQL so I will search for, for everything by typing this command sudo yum list postgresql dot star and here you can see that now we have uh, this uh, 9.6 uh, which is good uh, so first of all let's just remove old version uh, so I will remove it uh, uh, where is the version here so I will type sudo yum erase and then paste uh, this package name but also there are some other dependencies so I'll just type this command or maybe even this command sudo yum erase postgresql star so it will erase everything related confirm by pressing yes uh, so we just uh, deleted this and also let's edit uh, default uh, repositories uh, in yum package manager by uh, using this command sudo vi and then at c yum and then yum dot repos dot d and then uh, we just need to edit uh, base repo uh, so let's open this file and here uh, you just need to edit two sections first is base so just simply type here exclude equals postgresql star so we will exclude all version and also from updates let's exclude it as well postgresql star so save this file exit let's make cache again sudo yum make cache press enter and now if we try to list again sudo yum list postgresql star uh, now you can see that now we only have uh, version 9.6 and we don't have uh, our uh, 9.2 version uh, which is good uh, 
by the way this uh, some other packages they come from this uh, 9.6 repository postgres 9.6 which is correct so everything works as expected so now we just need to install this server a 9.6 so let's let's install it by typing sudo yum install and then the package name just once press enter confirm by pressing yes so let's just wait a few seconds it will install and now we are almost ready to use our new postgres sql server uh, which is 9.6 first of all we just need to initialize database by running this command usr and then pg sql 9.6 bin init db uh, what else uh, it's better to run it like this post gre sql 9.6 setup and then init db press enter so we've just initialized our new database which is good uh, so now we just need to enable our service uh, for new postgres sql by typing this command so do system ctl enable and then the service name i think it will be postgresql 96 or postgresql dash 96 or dash 9.6 okay so this is the version uh, so this is the service name postgresql dash 9.6 and now we just need to start our service by typing this same command so do systemctl start and then the service name make sure you type it correctly start and now we can also check the status systemctl status of our service and here you can see that it is running also if i try to run uh, this command psql and you will see that there is some problem let's check the location of psql and let's check the location of this one so it works fine uh, it's just already found a uh, correct location uh, we didn't need to do anything extra here uh, so it points to the right uh, location uh, so now we can just log into uh, our postgres shell by typing uh, this command to do an su dash postgres so this is default username for database and now we can log in without any password also we can get listing of databases you can see it works fine and this is the shell the version is 9.6 uh, which is great we can also check it from here psql dash dash version so now you can see we just upgraded our postgres database from 9.2 to 9.6 uh, but also it might be useful to know uh, how to upgrade your database because you already might have some data and you need to migrate them from old version to new version and just uh, watch my next video I will uh, do it will show how to do it uh, so stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching bye bye